Let me show you how to design an attractive social media post in Photoshop. Let's start by dragging our photo to Photoshop. You can download this photo from the description below. Scale it while holding the Shift and Alt button. Let's move it to the right size like this. Now go to Adjustment Layer and choose Gradient Map. Choose Black and White Gradient. Make sure the black color is on the left side. When you finish press OK. Reduce the fill to 82%. Right click and choose Create Clipping Mask to only affect the layer below it. Select both of these layers while holding the Shift button and group them. Rename the folder. Right click and change its color. Now select the image layer. Choose the quick selection tool. Hold Alt to remove the extra selection. Go to adjustment layer and choose gradient. Follow these settings. Set the opacity to 100%. When you finish press OK. Set the angle to 45 degrees. When you finish press OK. Change the blending mode to color. Right click and choose create clipping mask to only affect the layer below it. Now go to tools and choose the ellipse tool. Follow these settings. Draw a circle while holding the shift button. Follow these settings. Choose the Move tool. Hold Alt and drag to make a copy. Press Ctrl T and scale it. Let's change the color to purple. Here is the color number. Now let's fix this image. Choose the image layer. Right click and choose rasterize layer. Choose the selection tool. Select this part. Now go to edit and choose content aware fill. The artificial intelligence has fixed this part of the image. Now press OK. Click anywhere to deselect. Choose the type tool and write your word. Let's open the character panel. Change the font color to black. I'm using Montserrat's semi bold font. Now choose the Rectangle tool and let's draw a rectangle. Make it big for now. Let's choose No Stroke, and fill it with white color. Drag the layer under the text layer. Select these two layers, let's center them horizontally and vertically. 
select these two layers, right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Double click on this Smart Object. Choose the Rectangle layer. Press Ctrl T and scale it. Press Ctrl S to save it. Now close the file and go back to the original file. Go to Layer Style and choose Drop Shadow. Follow these settings. When you finish press OK. Double click on this smart object. Press Ctrl T and scale the rectangle. Press Ctrl S to save it. Go to Layer, Smart Objects, choose New Smart Object via Copy. Now we have made a copy of this smart object. Double click on it to edit it. Choose the Type tool and edit the text. Now choose the Rectangle layer. Press Ctrl T to scale it. Press Ctrl S to save it. Close the file and go back to the original file. Go to Layer, Smart Objects, choose New Smart Object via Copy. Now we have made a copy of this smart object. Double click on it to edit it. Choose the Type tool and edit the text. Choose the rectangle, and let's change its color. Now choose the Type tool and change the text color to white. Press Ctrl S to save it. Close the file and go back to the original file. Press Ctrl T, scale it and rotate it. When you finish press Enter. Double click on this smart object and let's change its color. Press Ctrl S to save it. Close the file and go back to the original file. Select these layers while holding the Shift button and group them. Let's name the folder text and change its color. Now we will do the same thing as we did before. We will make a copy of the smart object and then edit it. Go to Layer, Smart Objects, choose New Smart Object via Copy. Press Ctrl T, scale it and rotate it. Let's put this layer on top. Double click on this smart object. Edit the text. Press save and close the file. Now we will do the same thing as we did before. We will make a copy of the smart object and then edit it. Go to Layer Style and choose Outer Glow. Follow these settings. Press Ctrl S to save it. Close the file and go back to the original file. Now choose the Pen tool. Right click and choose Make Selection. 
Go to adjustment layer and choose solid color. Go to File, Export, choose Save for Web. Follow these settings. That's it, hope you liked it. Leave a comment below and I will try to answer all of your comments.